She looks quite good, doesn't she? Yeah, she's a bit... There are adders in this part of the wire forest, not too far from Kidderminster, and we're off to find them. Guaranteed against cobra bites, those, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> But the snakes here have been having some high-tech tracking recently. In this video shot by the researchers, you can see a radio tag being attached to an adder using surgical tape. So this is how you track down an adder with a tag on it. I think it's somewhere over there. Uh, and this has helped reveal and solve one of the great mysteries of adder life. Where do they all go to after they've bred sometime in the spring? We didn't realise they spend so much time underground hunting, basically, feeding. Um, so this has been very enlightening to us. Obviously, we didn't know this before. We wondered where they'd all gone once mating was over. The tagging also reveals just how far these snakes travel. Considering that one a snake moved a kilometre and a kilometre back, really, it proves that they, these small 50, 60 centimetre snakes do move over a very large area. For a decent population to build up, it needs, needs quite a large area, really. It's a kilometre of habitat by the looks of it. The Forestry Commission will be using this data to manage the wire forest and protect this adder population. As for me, well, it'll be a while before they let yeah. me try and track the real thing. Is it in your pocket? <laughs> David Gregory, BBC Minns Today, in the wire forest.